Hey, what's up everyone? It's David here and I'm hosting Model Reviewer and today's video I've got the Hornby NBR six wheel coach. Well, this is the third class coach to be exact. And obviously, you see here, there it is. NBR six wheel six wheel third class coach. And the running number is 1169. So the loco, what would normally be pulling this would be a A1X Terrier. And as you see here, the problem is with static, you get the dust that comes on it, unfortunately. But uh, it's got the NEM coupling, spring-loaded buffers. It's got the brake cord brake cord on the on the um the coach itself but um let's actually just open it up for us to obviously admire its actual proper beauty comes in the standard hornby red box this make up makes up the um the standard range in the hornby Catalog. So you've got the um the foot plates. I mean the um to pick, <clears throat> um you know the walk plates to step step on. Put as an extra detail part. I would leave them off because they're just a fiddly thing to mess around with. Normally they end up needing glue in any way because they just keep falling off. So let's just stick that there. We've also got the battery replacement because you can fit light into these coaches. It shows you how here. So um, yeah, the instructions there. I'm not sure. Put that. Uh, let's just fold that up. Forgot to mention the other side there. Shows you how to put the um the st yeah, the step boards. That's what I was, the words I was looking for on the side of the model. So let's get actually to the coach itself. You see here, it's quite nice. It's got you can see the handles are all a separate delicate pl um, delicate part added to the actual model itself the um the, the six wheels and they've got a plastic insert of red to basically show it as um the, the add the, the extra detail to the the metal casting obviously in the past Hornby wouldn't have bothered and they would have just literally have had it as a bare wheel coach out they don't weigh much at all or anything, but considering you, you'll have a small A1 Terrier pulling it, you don't really want to have too much weight. So I've been very careful. And you can see the spring loaded. Oh, they're not spring loaded. Oh, that's unfortunate. The way they made them, it looked like it was spring loaded, but mind you, unless you pressed them, they wouldn't be noticeable so you still got the brake cord the NEM pocket so you can pull these out just like you have on all the latest Hornby trains um, inside you can't really quite see the inter detail inside there got big. it's just got a little bit you can see around see the windows it's got a more of a brown kind of color going around you've got the red you've got the the gold imprint and the writing and it says a third on it with the running number 11 11 69 well 169 so 11 69 you've got the emblem of the of mbr's logo there the crest 
you see the detail underneath here. It's got your standard Hornby logo. It's a bit, the lighting's a bit bad, so I apologise. Just focus in. There we go. So, all in all, you can pick these round about £30, give or take, at the moment, as of 2022. See there, the actual roof into detail there. It's quite nice. Quite like these sort of things when they do these little special imprints and um, additional fittings to the, the plastic obviously you pay for that in the money but a few of these being pulled by a terrier it seems to be something on my model here i don't quite know what it is is it a bit of fluff i hope so Otherwise, someone from Hornby's quality control. Oh. It doesn't look good, actually. You can see that in the camera. There. Do apologise about my fingernails because I have been working on a garage recently, so obviously apologise for that. Anyone if you wants to comment on it, welcome to. Sorry, but I'm just a working man and not uh, someone that always gets a pedicure. Yeah, that I don't know what that is, but it's obviously really annoying me. Think to um, just this is one of the tags that allows you to put your SIM card in your iPhone, and I'm just going to see if I can notch that off. I don't know what that is. Is it a bit of just a dirt? No, that's not, I don't know what that is, but that's obviously something that I'm not really prepared to live with. That's actually gonna go back to Hornby. That's really upsetting actually. So it just shows your quality control ain't that great at the moment. doesn't come off I did lightly try and get it off but it's not and I don't obviously want to damage the model any more than it's already been damaged from the factory see there just above the below the third I don't know what it is. It might be a spillage from when they glued it. Who knows? But if that wasn't there, it would obviously be a very, very nice model. Fortunately, it is there. And so it's had to go back to Hornby. Not impressed, really. So. So showing that the video had to end like that, but it's obviously it is what it is. Next time on Model Reviewer, since the announcement of the 2022 
Hornby range. Hornby has announced that the VEP unit will be returning to the Hornby, the, the VEP unit will be returning to the range in two new liveries. So I thought it, it's the perfect time to do a unboxing video of the original two, one of the original two models that were released back in 2011. So that's what's coming up next time. And it's the network delivery version. When um, the railway was um, nationalised. The era of the nationalised before it being privatised, obviously. And these used to run down the, up and down the, um, the suburban areas around London. The VIP, VIP unit, obviously, four VIP unit because it had four coaches. They'd normally coupled them up to um, two units to make up a rake of eight coaches. So that's the that's the video next time. Um, so please, if you could um, watch it, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> but if, you, if you're interested, obviously perfect time to, uh, to click on. Oh, I seem to be basically um, <laughs> startling my words. <laughs> Whatever I'm saying. Anyway, um, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.